mention a leaf blade of grass, the trees, the animals, everyone along the bank is drinking the water, even I'm drinking. So if I call Mother River as, uh, River as my mother, all other forms of life are my siblings. When I say keep a tree in your campus, I have inhaled the oxygen left out by the tree, it has inhaled my carbon dioxide. That understanding, so next time if I have to pluck a flower or cut a branch, that gradual understanding that I am not different from the tree. This is the process which we try and understand on the journey of Jalmik. Twelve days of travel. I don't give these courses. Every participant over there has to keep his vision open. Somebody talked about uh, quantum physics. Uh, the question of quantum physics came. Somebody talked about quantum physics. Ki baat hui thi, ya socha. Okay, anyway. Even when you talk in terms of science, see, boson heat particles. Do we have time? Yes. And 4 o'clock is the uh, time, so we've got about 6 7 minutes. Okay, that's fine. So when we talk of boson heat particles, the subatomic particles, they are supposed to have a mass. They are supposed to have a charge. And they are supposed to oscillate in a particular spatial dimension. If suppose it oscillates in this dimension, it becomes particle A. If it oscillates in this dimension, it becomes particle B. There are 11 supposedly spatial dimensions to justify the presence of subatomic particle that is goes on here. What does it tell us? That if there is no space, there can be no matter. You get it? So, that makes matter a shashtra, unreal. Even the science, what I am talking of is pure subatomic and quantum science. Clear? So, is the space eternal? No. As per Einstein's equation, the space-time fabric which we talk of, and with the gravitational waves coming in, it can expand indefinitely or even, depending on the speed which you travel with, can come to an absolute zero. Bindu. So, is space eternal? No. Is time eternal? No. As far as atomic energy as physics is concerned, as far as quantum physics is concerned, time is not taken as a quotient at all because it is fluctuating. So time is also not eternal. You all must have heard about the uh, principle of uh, uncertainty. If suppose there is an electron traveling between us, you look at it as a particle, I look at it as energy. And if you look at it as particle and you try and trap it, it just bursts out for getting converted into energy. So that electron has a meaning. If you see it as particle, if I see it as energy. And the quantum physics says that if you try and pass the electron through a slit, it behaves or it is present only if the observer is there. If there is no observer, there is no electron. So even science of today as it is progressing from the Newtonian uh, mechanics to uh, Einstein's relativity to Bohr's and to even... Uh,